Hello everybody, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be flying from Brackett Airport to Redlands Airport for Outschool.com. And today we're going to be flying our part two of our air navigation class, how to calculate for wind drift and correct for wind drift. Our flight time today is going to be uh, just short of 20 minutes. Well, let's go ahead and jump back in the cockpit, and we'll release the parking brake. And we'll go ahead and get going. <coughs> All right, there's 73, we'll rotate. We're gonna disregard that because we're actually climbing. We've got quite a bit of, quite a bit of wind today. Wind is at uh, 020 at 20 knots. And landing gear is gonna come up and flaps will come up. Not sure why that thing is doing that. Well, there it is. All right, so our first course is going to be 061. So here on the directional gyro, this is a G1000, uh, which is the uh, screen displays here that you see. Um, this is a Bonanza, Beechcraft Bonanza. It's a little bit faster than a Cessna 172. All right, so we're 061 on the course because of our wind correction. <coughs> but we actually want to be flying 071 or 070. So the nose is actually pointed a little bit into the wind. All right, we'll go ahead and set the cruise power now. The airplane is bouncing around. <laughs> this is not a uh, normal uh, flight. <laughs> Wouldn't be flying in this crazy amount of wind, but uh, for our purposes, so we can demonstrate the wind correction, that's why we're flying this, uh, we're going to go ahead and reduce the, f the RPM on the prop there we go and there's 3,000 feet and we're looking for the cable airport which is just off to our left side there maintaining that 061 course trying to 062061 but as you can see look where the wind is coming from we have 20 knots at about uh, 20 degrees of wind <coughs> and there's about, about 3,000 feet and we're uh, cruising along quite good all right, we're uh, just to our left there is Cable Airport, and we're going to turn to our next course now of uh, 071 to the Speedway, the uh, Fontana Speedway, and that's going to be off of our right wing tip. All right, there's about 071. And remember, the wind is coming from 20 degrees, so it's coming off our left side. So we're actually about 9 degrees to the left to be able to, or 8 degrees to the left, because our magnetic heading is 079, but our course, or, sorry, correction, our magnetic course is 079, but our magnetic heading is 071. We're heading into the wind, but we're actually going nine degree, 8 degrees to the right of that. And we may be able to see the crab. Can you, if you can see that the nose of the airplane is actually weather vaning into the wind, gives you an idea of wind correction. And if we didn't correct, we would be blown so far off course, <coughs> and we probably would not be able to um, see our landmark. We would be so far south of it because the wind is going to push us. It's coming from the left, and that is wind correction. So that's why it's so important. And as uh, you know, we, s we talked about in class, uh, most of your flying situations are going to be with wind. It's very rare you're not going to have any wind at higher altitudes. 
All right, so we're looking for that speedway, and it should be off our right side. I think I kind of see it there. This would be very uncomfortable flying if we were actually in the airplane because the airplane is constantly what we call a chop situation, bouncing around like this. <coughs> All right, I believe that is the speedway to our left there at about our 1 o'clock. We're still heading 071, doing the best we can, given the wind is coming from about 20 degrees at 20 knots. You can see where the arrow is pointing. That's where the wind is coming from. And as you can see, we calculated wind correction very well because we're going to come up on the speedway being right on our right side. Because had we not corrected, we would be to the south of that speedway in those hills probably over there. Um, so that's, that's why it's so important to be able to uh, uh, calculate wind correction. And sometimes at higher altitudes you have wind like this, so it's not uncommon. Uh, just below us is the 15, Interstate 15 Freeway. It takes you all the way to San Diego, all the way up to Montana. Goes through Las Vegas and uh, Utah and Wyoming, and it goes all the way up. All right, uh, we're coming up on checkpoint number two, the Fontana Speedway, where they do NASCAR racing and uh, all kinds of stuff there. And you can see the, once again, you can see the nose of the airplane is a little bit to the left, but yet the airplane is going straight. <coughs> and that's our wind correction. So we are slip, we are uh, sideways flying. <laughs> Only time you could move, s you could be sideways and go forward is in an airplane. And a helicopter, probably. All right, uh, there is the speedway. And we're going to go ahead and turn to our magnetic heading of 080 now. And we have about a 7 degree wind correction here. That's a little bit too much there. And we're going to the 10 to 15 interchange. We're scooting quite along here. Uh, what is our ground speed? Ground speed is 152 knots. So this is a little bit faster than the uh, Cessna 152 that we were flying before. So the 10 and the 215 interchange, the two freeways that intersect each other. <clears throat> and you can see our crab is a little less now because we're turning uh, a little bit more out of the wind. So you can actually kind of see it's not as much pointing into the wind because we've changed our heading. But nevertheless, we still are crabbing a bit. We are looking for that freeway. Should be coming up here. That's actually the 10 freeway down there. And the 10 215, I'm sorry, the t yeah, the 10 215 should be to our uh, right side. And that looks like it's it at about our 1 o'clock there. We're coming up on it. <coughs> Very, very bumpy. This would be so uncomfortable. You would be really tired after this very short 30-mile flight. But we're doing a pretty good job holding altitude without the use of the autopilot. So, And holding our course, or heading. And the 10-215 is actually right over there, off the nose, at about our 1 o'clock.
I'm getting dizzy just watching the airplane in the simulator. <laughs> Woo. And uh, that airport straight ahead is San Bernardino Airport. That's San Bernardino Airport off to our left side. There's the 215 and 10 interchange, which is our last checkpoint before the airport, before Redlands Airport. And Redlands Airport should be at 66 degrees of heading once we cross the 215 and 10 here, which is just about there. There it is. All right, now we're going to turn to a 066 heading. That's what we've calculated. Uh, the airport's only about nine miles away, and that's actually straight ahead. If we uh, fly this heading, we should actually get straight to it. And if we look, or if we zoom in, the airport is actually straight ahead of us. So we're going to go ahead and start a descent. We're going to reduce power. while maintaining 066, 66 degrees, as best we can, obviously. We're going to have a left quarter in crosswind when we're landing, so we're going to have to uh, either use the crabbing landing method or the wing low. Uh, we'll probably uh, use the wing low method. Hopefully we can stay on the runway with this amount of wind. Okay, we need to start reducing a little bit more airspeed here, so we're going to reduce power quite a bit. And you can still see that the winds are 20 knots at the bottom there in the direction and velocity right over here with the arrow. So we're, we're still got about the same amount of wind we had when we took off. Yeah. Those are some brutal winds. Alright, the airport is uh, just off of our 12 o'clock, which is straight ahead. Um, you can see we're crabbing even more now because we're slowing down. The, the slower you are, the more you have to crab because the airplane is not going as fast and uh, it's more stable when it's faster. All right, we're going to go with our first setting of flaps, and there they are. And we're going to have this don't sink thing going on. If only we can just disable it. I mean, we're sinking because we're actually descending. We have to descend. We're going to land. But we're going to disregard that. And actually, if you look down here, you can see we're heading towards the airport, REI, off the left-hand side. And, and we're going to add our landing flaps. We're going we're gonna to try to maintain a little bit faster airspeed here because of uh, the amount of wind. <coughs> and now, if you see, oh, this is so annoying, you can see where the nose is and where the runway is. That gives you more of an idea of what we're doing here. Well, if you, you can actually see where the nose is and where the airplane's going. It's... That is the crab. Well, I am not sinking anymore, so... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and transition to the wing low method. We bring the left wing down where the wind is coming from, and we give it some right rudder to get the nose going down the r center line of the runway. Finally. All right, power is going to come back to idle. And there it is. And we're going to continue to keep that 
try to stay on the center line. We're going to keep that left wing down. We don't want the wing to come up, and it, it can happen. The airplanes want to fly even when they're on the ground. Welcome to Redlands. So that was a, a very uneventful flight, but pretty bumpy. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off over here. And as we have a tailwind, we get the, the elevator, which controls up and down. We'll get that in the down position like this. All right. Well, that was, that was pretty exciting. Thank you so much for joining us today on this flight. And uh, I hope you found it informative and enjoyable at the same time. Uh, look forward to other videos in the future. Fly safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.